Mm. I'm perfecting the skill. Lawrence Smith is ready, man. See how he's preparing. Why, why? It has food color inside. Why is it so pink like that? I told you, you need to go back to school. You look so young. You have to go back to school. <laughs> My name is Mtrawa The Voice. So, we are in Uganda, Ginger. And uh, we are searching for this mountain of food. We want uh, street food. And uh, we have found somewhere there. Look at that, man. So, mountains of meat, man. We want to have a taste of it. <laughs> So there was music playing, now I could not even record comfortably. So here we were just sampling a lot of, uh, you know, uh, street food. So I was asking him, what is this? You know, I was just amazed. I was asking, is that plantain or bananas? But he could not really understand English properly. But uh, my cousin helped me to translate that because he knows uh, Luganda perfectly. So there was a lot of um, shikaki, that is roasted meat, uh, chicken, the bananas, and so on and so on. Uh, I, I want to test this one. JB turn up. Hmm? Music again, you know. I was asking JB, my cousin, if he is going to eat mishkaki, that is roasted meat. But on the other side, Lawrence preferred, you know, uh, sausages. On my side, I'm not a good fan of sausages, but, uh, you know, it looked good. But though it looked pink on my side, I just wondered. One thing I've realized about Uganda is that they have got this diverse and rich food culture. Even when you go to Kampala, you go to Mbale, you go to Mbarara, you go to Gatuna, you go to Gulu. They've got these diverse foods. And when you go in Uganda in the evenings, most of the time, it's like now people are waking up, man. People, I'm told that, you know, uh, they don't take even supper. Supper is being, being taken at the streets, man. And, man, this is just a normal day. It's always like that. I just love it. And the way they just, like, sit outside there, you can see some tables and chairs, people seated there. You know, some chili a little bit there, adding to some meat, as you can see. It's just an amazing culture. Ugandans, what is this, man? I'm just wondering, man. Even the day before this, you know, uh, this day, we had some street food just outside, and it was just amazing, the vibe, how people, you know, were outside. We mingled people, talked to people. It was amazing. I like this culture. I like this culture. That one, I can promise you, man, I love this. Look at this banana. It's making it just roasted banana. Amazing, amazing, amazing. How do you find it, man? So I was talking to this gentleman preparing this amazing meal and he was so nice. He told me he has done this for five years, man, doing this. Amazing, 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 amazing. There's my cousin JV just wondering what's going on here. Then, uh, I like this gentleman. Look at this, this gentleman here. Yeah? He's assistant to the other guy. Having a good appetite, you know. I don't have that appetite when roasting something then eating at the same time. So I was asking him, why is it pink like that? But he had no answer. And he was very young. I wanted why he, he was not in school and the gentleman there was interacting with people selling and buying you know very busy man it is all ladies and gentlemen young to old everybody look at this gentleman <laughs> i like i like i like i like i like this i like um, it ginger uganda ginger is a city actually <laughs> so we're coming all the way from kampala so we have a meet here in ginger then we proceed on to after this, I'll be going to, to see my grandmother back to Kenya. Then we move to the next country. Yeah. All right. So let's let's wait for it. Yeah, man. <laughs> So my cousin Lawrence there seems to like this sausage man, but I don't like the shape. I don't like the shape. I don't like the shape. And <laughs> okay, so I was asking man, why 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 is this sausage so long? So uh, that's where he he was explaining to me. It is uh, combined. There are two of them. They're like a shorter sausage is now combined to, you know, why are they pink on the other side? You know, I was very curious. So on our side, we were with the JB. We preferred roasted meat, of which uh, it was coming close to sixty cents in terms of dollars. That is sixty shillings in Ke in terms of Kenyan shillings. So, yeah, a little bit of salt there. That's enough. So nice, man. So legit. One thing I like about street food is that you know the foods are fresh. They're coming uh, from the butchery straight to this place. So you're eating something that's fresh. Man. Speaking with food in my mouth, but just bear with me. I like it. 
How, how, how much is the total? Total for every, everything? Total uh, 5,000. 5,000, alright. So this one, 10,000. So it's 5,000 on Zampatia. So I think for change. Thank you. This is my balance. Wow. Wow. See, everybody, all the people are sitting there eating some, you know, all of this, man. So, it's like a nightlife here. So, we go. I want to turn that to Canada. I'm perfecting the skill of eating, you know. I, I, I want you, I did a street food in Nairobi, Kenya. I want you to compare between Uganda's one and Nairobi's one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the difference? What have you observed? You tell me in the comment section. I need to know that. All right. So, Jinja Uganda. I, I like the, I like this city. I'll tell you the reason why I, do, I, I, I like Jinja because it's not cold. I don't like cold at all. I don't want to find trouble cold. Even I've lived in Nairobi for a very long time, but you know, I'm not very good at cold. So I prefer the weather being like this, kind of um, close to that one of uh, Kisumu in Kenya and also slightly like Mombasa. So, mountain of meat, man. Wow. Mm. Amazing. We can go. Mm. Thank you, bro. It was really nice. I appreciate it. Thank you. My brother, I told you, you need to go back to school. You look so young, you have to go back to school. How are you, bro? So, here we move to all these men are street foods here, man. In Jinja, Uganda. Jinja is a city, actually. The second biggest city in, uh, in Uganda. All these men are selling, man. I told you, in Africa, people are working hard, man. When someone tells you that, you know, Africans are not hard working, man, Maybe. that's a lie. So, Lawrence is making a call. Um, we are waiting for a Boda Boda person. We need to go to another place. Um, basically, um, we need to go home. Uh, he said that someone was prepared some, some dinner for us. So we had to take some shikaki here, uh, some meat. Then uh, we go home. So we are waiting for the taxi person or the Buddha Buddha person. Then from there, uh, we go have some dinner. Wow. So let me have my last bite. Very nice, man. All of these, man, are here in Jinja. So, where are they? Oh, there they are. So, guys, thank you so much for watching and joining us today. Um, I really appreciate, I really appreciate, man. I want to close. They are right there. Wow, I like Ginger Town, man. Let me move like this. Let me cross now. I like Ginger Town. I like Ginger Town. It's Ginger City, actually. It's not a town. So, guys, that was the street foods here in Ginger, Uganda, man. Really nice. I like even the presentation, how they do their things, man. That was amazing, man. So, you can compare, uh, eat with other, you know, the, the you know the food culture that I did in Nairobi Kenya uh, I want you to do a comparison which one is better <laughs> which one is better or which other country when I go there or your home country you can share with me some of the comments there about the, you know uh, you know the street foods in your home country man tell me in the comment section so that when I come to your home country I can be also be able to enjoy uh, you know those street foods man i like that you know that 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 is like a culture you know the street foods are you know the foods that you you know that you know they're locally like you know how can you say like invented there you know what i mean yes man amazing 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 that has been a pleasure man i really appreciate for watching man please give some suggestions uh, in the comment section and also you can comment like and share 
Yo, spread this good news, man, as we move, man. I do travel videos, you know, for those watching for the first time. My name is Umtal The Voice. I do travel videos. Go watch my videos in different countries and enjoy, you know, uh, enjoy the beauty of different cultures here. So, we are in Ginger Town, and that is a wrap for today for the street food. My name is Umtal The Voice. Have a good time.